Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach Carey and the rest of our coaching team, and we're going to go over this week's simple and sinister workout for you. So for this workout, we're going to have five different stations. You'll we'll have one exercise at each station. It's going to be 25 seconds of hard work. You're going to have 15 seconds to rotate. We're going to go around the room five times, and then we're going to have a finisher for you at the end here. You ready, Carey? I'm ready. Okay, so station number one, we're going to start with our tall kneeling side-to-side -side slam. So you want to get a little closer to the wall for this one. So we have some uh, blue floor out there for you to use as well. You want to squeeze those glutes nice and tight. Abs are walled up. And then you're going to take that rope side to side. You're rolling up those abs. Try not to let those hips shift on you. You're going to rotate a little bit through those shoulders, but keep those abs walled up so those hips aren't going anywhere. Glutes are squeezed nice and tight the entire time here. Back and forth as quickly as you can on this one. Nice job, Coach. From there, we're coming over to station number two. We got Coach T over here on the rower. The rower's all about power, not speed. So focus on hard pulls every time. Chest up, deep breath in on the way in. Push that air out as you're driving out here. One good pull at a time. Every pull as hard as you can. Nice job, team. From there, we're coming over to station number three. We got Coach Ray over here. He's going to be demonstrating our plank with the bag pull through. So, you guys in that push up position, plank, reaching across his body to grab that bag, slowly pulling it over to the other side, trying to keep those hips nice and stable as he's working here. Now, the slower you go, the more challenging this is going to be. If you need to, you can also work this from your knees. Take those knees down to the floor, wall up those abs nice and tight, slow as you pull across, or you can just focus on that plank at any point if you need to and take the bag pulled throughout it. Nice job there, Coach. And then from there, we're coming over to station number four. We got Coach Matt over here, and he's going to be demonstrating our kettlebell good morning. So. Getting that kettlebell, starting with it upside down in front of him. He's going to rest that kettlebell against his shoulders behind his back. Stand, he's got his feet set apart so he can sit his butt back here. Notice how he's going to get a soft bend as he's trying to push his hips back toward the wall. Then his chest goes out over his toes. So he's not going up and down with his hips. He's going back with those hips, chest coming out over the floor. You're going to feel a nice stretch through your hamstrings and glutes on the way down. Squeeze those glutes and drive those heels into the floor at the top here. Now, if holding that kettle up back there is hard on your shoulders or on your lower back, go to that goat bag hinge. He's going to push that kettlebell into his belly. Everything else is the same. Push those hips back, chest out over your toes, squeeze those glutes at the top there. Nice job there, Coach. And then we're over to our last station. Coach T is back. She's going to be demonstrating our half kneeling alternating rows. So she's got one knee on the floor, glutes squeeze nice and tight, abs rolled up, driving this front big toe into the floor, and then just alternating those arms on that press. And so deep breath in, push that air out as you're pressing here. When you come back to this one, you'll have the other knee on the floor. So you're gonna get a couple sets in on each side here. Okay, that is our density, or excuse me, that's our simple sister workout for this week. Great job, everybody.